All right, Onyx, this is for you here. And for anybody that may have this issue too with the um, switchbacks or with their daytime running lights not really functioning the way they should, or parking lights is what it's called. Um, I have this manual here that's for a 2019 Flex, which is my model, but it's the wiring diagram. And in the wiring diagram, this is where the issue is happening. The left corner lamp, which is the side marker that's next to the little three LED side marker. And then this one is the main uh, turn signal lamp that's also used for your daytime running for your like switchbacks. It's plugged in to a line for grounding, but it's also connected to a fuse line, which is F48 and it's a 10 amp fuse and it's on the battery junction box. Now, another thing that's connected to it that I'm hoping is not it, because that would be a bigger issue, is the body control module, which is the BCM. Hopefully, that's not the problem. But um, here's the box. I'm going to show you where that's at right now, and we're going to see if we can mimic what you're experiencing. So let's go to that right now. Alrighty, this is from my buddy Onyx. I'm doing a quick little video here. I think I might have found your issue. So... What you're experiencing is possibly a simple blown fuse. And I'm going to show you where it's at. It's in the junction box right next to the battery. But I'm going to go ahead and mimic what you're doing. So, here is my car running, right? I'm going to just simply turn on the little parking light thing. You see it's on there. Nothing fancy, just that. Here is the lights that you're trying to get on, right? The little three lights that go here. And your little daytime running lights that you would use for your switchbacks, right? Okay. So, and as you can see, turn signal works there. Turn signal works there, right? Okay. So, here's what I'm going to do. Now, I'm going to remove that fuse that could be popped on yours. Hopefully, this is just a simple problem. It's fuse number 48. Right here where this number 10 is at. In this row here, number 10... I'm going to pull it out. Okay. I'm going to place it right there. All right. And it's off. Okay. Remember, fuse number 48 is a number 10. Now we're going to reenact the same issue. See? It's back on. And look. Now the lights don't turn on at all just like yours but my turn signals work see that and so do my fog lights and so do my headlights so let's go ahead and plug that number 10 fuse back to fuse number 48 there you go it's back on Number 48, right here in this row. And now let's turn these little thingies back on. There you go. And check that out. Now I have these lights running again. So, the best thing for you to do is to try to check number fuse 48. That's what I was able to find in my handbook. And hopefully that helps you out. Check that out, my man. And if it pops, okay, if it happens to pop, then there's an electrical short somewhere in the um, in the lights. So you got to check the, uh, the wire harness really well to make sure that there isn't a tear somewhere in one of the wires touching anything metal inside of the engine bay that could be causing the fuse to pop. So if you replace the fuse and you turn it on and you hear a pop sound from the fuse popping, there's a short somewhere and you're going to have to figure that part out. But I hope that this helps, man. Uh, keep me posted on your progress. Have a good one.